In today's video, we are gonna be looking at this absolute beast, the Jackery 1000 watt, and having a chat about why I love it, who's it good for, and why it's not just for van life. Hey, you can even use a hairdryer with it. We can even play a bit of house music. Christ, that music is bloody awful. Oh, oh. I knew that was a stupid idea. So whether it's been this big boy, the Jackery 1000 watt, or it's little brother, the Jackery 500 watt, over the last six months, I've been testing them out and playing around with these bad boys and using them with all of the electrical appliances that they can power. This rice cooker is actually producing a lot of steam. It's worth noting that as of tomorrow, the 18th of October to the 20th of October, Jackery is actually having a 15% off sale on all of their products. First off, my experience actually using this. I've used this thing on the road so many times to charge batteries, to charge drones, to power my lights, which are on the van right now, to use this Max Air fan to get rid of all my stinking fajita smells. I even used a bloody rice cooker with the goddamn thing. Things are getting steamy in here. So basically, anywhere the van goes, one of these 100% comes with me at all times. Let's take a look at the battery in more detail and then we'll discuss who exactly needs one of these? Inside here, underneath all the casing, is actually a 1002 watt hour lithium battery. It's got two 230 volt sockets with a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. On the left hand side, we've got two USB ports to charge your phone, to charge your drone batteries, camera batteries. One of them is actually quick charging. And then above that, we have two USB-C sockets. This is good because a lot of the Apple products, especially the Macs, the new iPhones and iPads, they actually use USB-C. So it's nice and convenient and it's kind of up to date with the modern technology. This is different as well to the 500 watt because that didn't have USB-Cs. So this is a bit of an upgrade from the previous model. We also have one 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter, which you can obviously use for whatever you fancy. We've got a display button here, which shows you how much battery it's got. And what I really like about this is when you plug it in to use the power from the battery, it will actually show you how many watts is coming out of it. So how many watts that appliance is actually draining. And then when you're charging it, likewise, it will tell you how many watts is going into it to charge it back up. So to understand exactly how long you can run a specific item for is actually quite simple. This Jackery is 1000 watts. So all you do is you divide that by the number of watts that your electrical appliance is. So for example, my laptop needs 60 watts to charge. All we have to do is 1000 watts divided by 60 watts, which gives us 16, which basically means I could charge my laptop for up to 16 hours. I'll put on the screen some of the charge times that you would use the Jackery for and some of the items that you might need to power. To recharge the battery back up, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. There's a few different methods that you can use. Obviously the first one being a mains 230 volt socket. That is of course gonna be the quickest way to charge it back up to 100%. The second way is using the solar panel kit that you can actually buy with the Jackery. I personally haven't used this because I live in England. It's miserable, gray, cloudy and wet. 99% of the time so I just haven't had the opportunity to use it but if you live in a hot country or you're traveling somewhere where the sun is out a lot that's obviously going to be a nice free efficient way to charge the battery back up and then the other method I've used quite a lot is when I'm driving I just plug it into the 12 volt cigarette lighter and it charges as the alternator is going and happy days when I arrive somewhere it's got a little bit more juice which means I can use it for longer. The big question is who needs one of these and why the hell would you spend over a thousand pounds or almost a thousand dollars on one of these because they are an expensive expensive piece of kit straight out of the hat it's good for anybody that is petrified and clueless about electrics so in theory once i connect this black cable hopefully i should have power why 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 if you want a simple setup in your van your micro camper your motorhome whatever the heck it might be then this is obviously absolutely ideal because it's portable so you can take it anywhere it's simple and easy to set up it's plug in and play you're all good you're all set as i said earlier you can run lights from this thing you can charge batteries from it you can even run a coffee machine and make a nice brew you can even use a hair dryer with it I've even seen one guy run a bloody gaming computer from it, so this thing is very capable and an absolute monster. We can even fly my drone with it. Addy mode. Ah! Oh! 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 Ah! Fuck. I knew that was a stupid idea. 
The Jackery doesn't fly drones, but it charges the batteries for them. Ah, bollocks. That was one of the most stupid ideas I've ever had. Completely away from van related things, who else is this good for? Well, it's good if you're a builder. Perhaps you go to a building site, you've got all your power tools and there's no accessible power to either run your power tools from or to actually recharge them back up. Well, if you've got this in the back of your van, you're obviously sorted because you've got power on the road. Maybe you're off camping with your wife and kids or vice versa, whatever it is, and your kids are bringing their iPads, their iPhones, their laptops, all sorts of entertainment devices, a 12 volt TV, and God forbid all of their battery runs out on the first day, that is not a problem that I personally want to deal with in the future. So I'd be bringing one of these. Plug the kids back in, get them back to their entertainment, and happy days, you and the wife can chill out and enjoy your camping holiday. This thing has come in that handy for me that I went to a friend's wedding a few months ago, and we had to do a test on all of the microphones and all of the sound, the speakers, etc., etc. <laughs> Anyway, the marquee wasn't 100% set up at the time because it was a couple of days before the wedding and we needed power to obviously test all this equipment out, but there wasn't power. They hadn't set it up and organized it yet. So thankfully I had this in the back of my van. I got it out and we literally tested an entire music system from speakers, microphones, sound, everything. And this was an absolute beast and a lifesaver. So not only is it a portable battery, it also saves marriages. I promise you I'm done blowing smoke up this thing's ass because there's many other people out there apart from me that absolutely love this product but some negatives and some improvements on the things that I would like to see in the future and maybe some things to consider if you are considering buying one. One, the cost. Let's be serious. A thousand pounds for one of these. <whistles> that is freaking expensive but I truly truly believe if myself or any of you have needs for it like you are a builder you are a wedding or event planner or you need a backup battery or you want a basic van simple electrical setup then as i said it's perfect it's ideal some improvements that i would personally like to see on this two 12 volt cigarette lighter sockets just because i think it's handy then you could run a fridge for example and then i could power my lights so Having two 12 volt sockets would be beneficial and probably another improvement that they could do is somehow move the handle somewhere else so you've got a flat top. Because it's got the handle on the top, it means I can't stack anything on top of it. You're not really gonna be able to stack much on that. So if you had a flat top, you could probably put the handle either on the sides or on the front, I think would make it a little bit more practical where you can easily put it in a cupboard and stack things on top or whatever it might be. Even when my van is 100% fully finished and I've got lithium batteries down in the garage powering this entire thing, this is always gonna come with me just as a second battery and because I'm gonna keep everything in this van 12 volt so I'm not actually gonna have any mains power. We'll be getting back to the van build later in the week with some new cool installments so I'm looking forward to getting them installed and showing them off to you. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, maybe you didn't, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying blah 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 blah, jackery jackery jackery. Anyway, it's a goddamn good product. Remember, there's a 15% sale tomorrow, so if you want to pick one up, I would do that in the next couple of days. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. First things first, it's heavy, man. Can I do bicep curls? I could do bicep curls. Oh, that is, oh, mate. Get a bloody good workout out of this one. Got to do left arm as well, because the right arm is used for you know what, so it's a bit stronger. Thank <laughs> you.